Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. I'm Marco, and this is Exploration Gaming. Today's video is mostly for newer players that are just getting into thieving, murdering, and other naughty pastimes in ESO. If you find these short tutorials useful and interesting, please help me out by subscribing to this channel and liking the video. Also, if you have any questions about gameplay in The Elder Scrolls Online, please leave me a comment and I promise to answer you back. Okay, if you've ever picked a lock on a door or a treasure chest, you've started earning points in the Ledger Domain skill tree. I have one tune which I specifically built to be a murdering, thieving pirate. He's a Khajiit Nightblade, and I hope to be sharing that PvP build with you folks soon. That said, I like to max up Ledger Domain on all my characters because of the Force Lock passive. This allows you to open treasure chests with just one click. It's a handy time saver. If you've started your career pickpocketing and murdering NPCs, you know that can be tedious with bounties, getting caught, running away from guards, all that. And this hack, which isn't against any rules, is really just a simple, non-aggravating way to bump up your skills. Head over to Daggerfall, where two large ships are docked. The Lydia is on the left, and the Hotspur is on the right. The holds are filled to the brim with stealable items. Simply dismiss your companion, if you have one up, and start grabbing stuff. The only limitation to power leveling Ledger Domain is the daily cap on fences. At the base level, you can fence 50 stolen items and launder 50 more, which will give you a total of 100 Ledger Domain points. If you shoot one skill point into the Trafficker passive, that number shoots all the way up to 220. With Trafficker maxed out, you can earn 280 Ledger Domain points per day. The developers were kind enough to place a Thieves Guild right next to the dock for easy fencing of items. For veteran players, yes, I do know about stealing apples. They stack in your inventory, making them very easy to carry. But stealing apples usually involves watching out for guards, and for me, that's just too much trouble. Well, I hope this video has helped out all the future outlaws in The Elder Scrolls Online. And as always, I'm Marco. Take care, have fun, and keep exploring.